four. Listen. Listen to a tour guide talking about Uluru and complete the facts. Who is a tour guide and what does he do? Look at the picture. This woman here is a tour guide. She is guiding the tourists. These people here, these are tourists. That means they are visiting some other countries. They are looking at the Eiffel Tower. Maybe they came from America. Maybe they came from Saudi Arabia. And they are visiting Paris. And this tour guide is showing them around. The tour guide will be talking about Uluru. Uluru is a name of a place, just like Paris, Riyadh, Jidda. There is a place in Australia that is called Uluru. This listening is about this place. There is some missing information here. You will listen to the audio track and fill in this missing information. We want to know the name of this place. We know that its name is Uluru, but this place has another name. This second name begins with heirs. Heirs what? And then in which country is this place? I have just said it a moment ago. And then you will have to find out the distance. Distance means the amount of kilometers between this place, Uluru, and the nearest town. And then you will have to find out the height. You will have to listen to the height of this thing. And then how many people visit this place every year? Visitors per year. Are you ready? Every time you have a listening activity, you have to understand and read the whole sentences before you begin listening to the recording. This can help you a lot in catching all the answers. Are you ready? Go. Okay, can everyone hear me? Good. Right. The bus will be arriving at Uluru in a short while. So I'd just like to tell you a few things about it. Uluru is the Aboriginal name, but you might also hear people calling it Ayers Rock, after Sir Henry Ayers, a famous Australian politician. Now, as you know, Uluru is right in the centre of Australia. That's why it's quite a journey to get there. In fact, the nearest large town is Alice Springs, which is 450 kilometres away. But lucky for us, these days you can fly to Ayers Rock Airport, which is a 20-minute bus ride away. Now, Uluru is one of Australia's most famous landmarks. It is a huge sandstone rock and it's 348 metres high. It is a very popular tourist site and 350,000 people visit it every year. Visitors can climb the rock, but local Aboriginal people prefer that you don't because it's a very important place for them. But feel free to take pictures and explore the area. I think, let me see, yes, you can just see Uluru in the distance on your left. Okay, now were you able to catch all the answers? If the answer is yes, then good for you. If no, I will help you find the answers. Here is the listening transcript. This is not a reading listen. This is a listening listen. This is why I suggest that you go back and rewind this video, listen to the audio track again, and try hard to catch the answers. Let this be your final choice, okay? Okay, can everyone hear me? Good. Right. The bus will be arriving at Uluru in a short while. Will be arriving means will reach. Will get to Uluru. In a short while means in not a very long time. In few minutes. So i just like to tell you a few things about it. Uluru is the aboriginal name. Uluru is the aboriginal name. That means it's this is the old name of the 
place. The original people who used to live in that place many years ago used to call it Uluru, but now this place has another name. People now also call it Ayers Rock. Ayers Rock is the, the name of this place, Uluru. You can call it Uluru or Ayers Rock, that's the same thing. After Sir Henry Ayers. After here is not the opposite of before. If I, if I tell you that my name is Motasim, after my grandfather, what does that mean? That means my grandfather's name is also Mu'tasim. If I tell you that my father named me Mu'tasim after my grandfather, that means the reason why my, my father named me Mu'tasim is because of his father, my grandfather. So, because of this man, Sir Henry Ayres, they, they named this place Ayres, Ayres Rock. Who was this guy, Sir Henry Ayres? He was a famous Australian politician. He was a politician. Now, as you know, Uluru is right in the center of Australia. That's why it's, a, it's quite a journey. It's quite a journey. That means it takes a very long time to to get to Uluru because it's at the center of Australia. In fact, the nearest large town is Alice Springs. This is the nearest large town, Alice Springs, which is 450 kilometers away. But lucky for us, lucky for us, that means we are being lucky. These days, you can fly to Ayers Rock. There is an airport where you can get inside a plane and go to Ayers Rock in no time, which is only a 20-minute bus ride away. That means you will only need 20 minutes to get to the airport using, riding a bus. Now, Uluru is one of Australia's most famous landmarks. It's a huge sandstone rock. Huge means very big. Sandstone rock. And it's 348 meters high. This is how high the rock is. It is a very popular tourist site. I have told you earlier about tourists. Tourists are people who visit places for fun. Site is is a place where tourists can go and 350,000 people visit it every year you wanna know how many people visit this place this is the number 350,000 people visit this place every year visit is the verb visitor is the noun people who visit are visitors Visitors can climb the rock, by the way, be silent. You don't say climb the rock. No, it's climb the rock. When you climb, you go up, you move up. But local Aboriginal people, people who are not just visitors, people who live in Uluru, the local people, prefer. Prefer, that means they would, they like it more if you don't climb the rock. Why? Because it's a very important place for them. But feel free, it means it's okay. Feel free means it's okay to do this. It is okay to take pictures and explore the area. Explore means find out, to see what's in there. I think, uh, let me see, yes, you can just see Uluru in the distance on your left. Now we move back to filling these blanks. So what is the name of this place, Uluru? You can call it Uluru or you can call it Ayers Rock. The country is Australia, nearest town, Alice Springs, distance from nearest town, 450 ki kilometers 
Height, how high, how tall is this rock? 348 meters, that is a lot. How many people visit this place every year? 350,000 people. If you like this video, please share it with friends. Goodbye.